All right, guys, welcome in and welcome back. So you're gonna need your stool today. And we're gonna be working on, aye, aye, aye. We're gonna be working on something that's with the ergo, but also that is going to be aiding us with uh, some of our other workouts. So lose the shoes. All right, hey, Oy, come on down to your stool. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get that back nice and loose so we can open up our hip. We're gonna really focus on opening up that hip. I'm always, always focused on that before we start to get into the um, back stretch, which we're gonna be doing today. Um, but we're gonna get into uh, some hydrant. But before we get into hydrant, we always wanna be successful on everything we do. So let's loosen the back. And it should be great right now because it's so hot today that that back should be, even if it's, if it's tight and you've been sitting all day, as soon as you come into this position, your back should go, ah, oh, thank you, because it's so warm. All right, let's come on down. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a little pressure to be found. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Not a whole lot, but a little something. All right, now we're going into our scary stretch. We all know what that is now. Come up, bring those knees slightly off of the ground. Mm. Woo. All right, yeah, it's something in there. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, ooh. Yeah, this is perfect timing too because I didn't even realize that the, uh, my um, abductors and hip flexors, I did so much ab work and realized that my, uh, my abductors and hip flexors are super tight, which is nothing but basically center of the hips. All right, so now we've gotten that a little bit looser. Let's come up into hydrate. Put that knee up there. And we're gonna rock back and forth. Make sure that foot is completely on the, uh, that knee is completely on the stool. And that the base knee is lined up with the knee that's on the stool so that you can rock back and forth. Five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Oh, let's hold ten for me. Ay, ay, ay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two. Oh. I can't wait till we do the front, I mean the back, push those hips forward. Cause I can feel a whole lot of things in there that wants to click loose. Especially at that right knee. That right knee is saying, you go ahead and release that hip just right. And I'll take this pressure off of your patella. Like that lined up those knees. Ooh, wee, that is painful. There it is. Just as I said it. Just as I said it, guys. That was my knee going back in. Oh, thank you, me. You were hurting too. Hip just went in. Oh, three. Oh, four. Five, six, seven. See that knee keep moving, that face knee up here, this one. Eight. And 
Guys, a lot of clicking. A lot of clicking. That was a lot of clicking, guys. A little more than I want. Or want ever. All right. Before we get started again, let's go back into that scary stretch. All right, loosen that neck left to right. Bring those elbows in front so that those shoulders drop. Yeah. Now you got free range of motion. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. There we go. Left to right. A full rotation. Oh. Oh. And five, opposite direction. Then to and fro, so tuck, 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 and then push the chin up, up, up. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Chin up, up, up. Mm -hmm. All right, and then shoulder, ear to shoulder, without moving the shoulders. All right. And gravity plays its part. Don't do anything. All those things we just stretched. Let them decompress with their own weight for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two. <sighs> Trying to do my cat and cow right now, but at back it says I'm not ready. When we're done with this stretch, oh, it's gonna be ready. Oh, those knees. <sighs> Ooh, those knees. We've been doing those squats, getting that tensile strength back. And those knees are starting to feel the effects in a good way. I can even see that the knee is uh, starting to develop here. The patella, it looks like it's getting pushed off to the side because of that new uh, development of muscle, but it's not. It's right where it actually should be when the patella is too far in. Um, and I can just see that development of that muscle is just right there, rest, very beginnings. And I need to have overdeveloped, that's underdeveloped. Especially as we get older, that's what makes the knees play out. So that's why we're going so hard on these squats. We're about to get into the weight pretty soon. Uh, all right, guys. Yeah, we got some a little development going on. We're paying for it, though. <laughs> all right, so right hand, left hand lined up. Left hand goes back and touches left back of the stool. Just like that. Right with right, left with left for now. Oh, just touching, getting that back used to it. We got that on Monday, we got that big release, right? I have been waiting for that and no more releases since then, guys. Well, I would say yesterday's, uh, well, 
maybe this morning shower. Oh, now I'm starting to twist. Oh, that's super tight. That is super duper tight. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get a release for you guys today. Wow, that's tight. God, that's probably why my knee is tight. <sighs> All right. Two nice releases there. That's always on the left side, easy cakewalk stuff. We need the right side to release. I'm gonna force it. Come into that elbow. And up. Come into the elbow. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. And up. Oh. Oh. All right, now let's take it to the opposite side. So now what's gonna happen is, is that my right hand, as I turn and twist, is gonna go all the way over to the left side, right? So right hand, <sighs> left side, left hand, <sighs> right side. <sighs> You can feel that because you're sitting, sitting right? You can feel that top of the hip girdle pulling up when you reach out and over like that, just decompressing for you. Right at this point here, and then when you twist, you can feel it pulling up. All right, now let's take a progress. You know, we have two parts to this whole stretch right here, right guys? There's the front part and then there's the back. And today, we're doing the back, of course. All right, so starting just like how we just did, right hand goes to right side, left hand goes to left. So we're gonna go back and touch. Again, simple, go back and touch. Oh, three right there. Thank you, body. Whoo, wee, that was on that right side too. Pop, 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 three in a row. Oh, gotta love it. All right, let's not stop just because we got what we wanted. Oh, good. Three. Four. As soon as we get down, a five, a six, range of motion has increased so much, a seven, eight, nine, and Oh. oh, yes. Switch, other side. All right, here we go. Two, three, four, five, 
and cry. This is so good for you. Oh my goodness. Six. Seven. Eight, last two. Nine. And 10. Oh, wow. Awesome, awesome work, guys. Ooh, those knees. Mm. All right. That being said, let's come on across. Bring that leg up. <sighs> Cross it over. Just like that. The only thing you're going to do is we're just going to use the weight of our chest to bring that knee down. We're not trying to stretch out with that stretch. What we just want to do is bring that leg parallel to open up the pressure off of that hip. So we're just going to come down. Rest the chest. Just like that for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow. Side. And down. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys. Wow. All right, next one. You already know what it is. Save the best for last. Go ahead and grab those knees. The feet should be wider than the shoulder. And bring those knees right on in. If this doesn't get it, there's nothing that will. I've been practicing this, so I wouldn't fall out of practice. This is one of those that are super rewarding, give you great reward, great reward, but boy, do you have to continuously do it. All right, let's walk it down. To the chins and hold for chin. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Oh, let bring it back. Gotten, gotten. Look at that. Those knees can't even see together for a little bit. That was four, though. About four releases right there, just from this. Now look at our range of motion. Look at that. Look at that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I mean, it increases, but possibly double with just doing it and then rolling back. I literally was going, oh, you've seen it. I don't need to demonstrate. I was just, you were here. 
<laughs> All right, let's go back again. See if we can't get a little bit more. Oh, oh that back is cooking me. A symphony, a symphony, you tell you. A symphony. Oh, come on down. I might get palms down on that one. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All from loosening your hip, opening your hip up from being compressed and loosening your back. That's what you get when you do those two things. An incredible amount of range of motion immediately. Now let's see what it feels like to get that pressure off of our back. Oh man, that was awesome. Come on over. Little to nothing, still a little bit twinge. We didn't get everything, of course. And then just come on up and over. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All righty then. Very good, guys. Now, I want you to stand up and tell me if you got any old man walking. Let's see. I think not. <laughs> All right, guys. From me to you, I'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.